Hi everyone, this is Anna, makeup teacher and content creator specifically for people with hooded eyes. Welcome, welcome. I am so excited today because guess what I found at my doorstep yesterday? Quite possibly the most beautiful collection to have ever come out in the history of makeup. Let me tell you, I had an eyeshadow palette and a lip combo sitting in my cart. I was about to check out and then I checked my mail. I don't often get PR. I did not even mention what this is. This is the new ColourPop Beauty and the Beast collection. I do not always get PR from ColourPop. I get it from time to time. So I wasn't ever expecting to receive that. And after what happened with the Twilight collection where nobody could get their hands on them, they got sold out quickly. It was just very frustrating for me too as a consumer because I really wanted to get that collection, but I couldn't. To receive this in PR was literally such a blessing. I am so grateful. ColourPop, thank you so much. This looks phenomenal. When I tell you, I was so excited and I still am so excited to try out the entire collection to finally play with a new eyeshadow palette because brands have decided that we don't like eyeshadow palettes anymore. Um, Let me tell you, I miss the times where we had a new eyeshadow palette come out every month and my hopes are for at least some Natasha Denona launches this year. But I mean, I'll take whatever I get and this looks phenomenal. Let's talk about it. Let's get into it. Let's look at these products. Let's look at the packaging and let's have some fun. This is the little insert they put in. The collection comes with an eyeshadow palette with two pressed powder blushes, with a lip mask, with a super shock highlighter, and with two lip kits, each consisting of a luxe lipstick and a glossy lip gloss. Glossy lip gloss? A lip gloss. Anyways, we're going to look at everything very, very closely, but let's start with this lip mask because I need to prep my lips. Wow, just wow, look at the packaging. So this is called Enchanted Rose Lip Mask. And of course, in ColourPop's fashion, it comes in a really cute packaging. It is going to look like a rose. I own a lip mask from them, from their Alice in Wonderland collection that was also very lovely and it smelled nice obviously the quality is just your regular lip mask it's not going to be anything over the top or crazy super moisturizing but nice and cute and it smells super super nice i'm gonna apply this on my lips so as any lip mask it does not give you a color a tint or anything just a little bit of moisture and it feels nice on the lips but i gotta tell you i know that people are very specific about the rose scent this does smell like a rose so if you are not a fan probably this product is not for you now let's look at some of my favorite packaging from this collection just look at these two blushes these are their pressed powder blushes we have one in the shade chip and one in the shade Mrs. Potts. The cutest, the cutest, are you actually joking? So I'm gonna show you the inside. This shade is Chip. This is the component comes in, really beautiful. Their Disney collection are to die for. I absolutely love them. So this shade Chip is kind of more of a, I wanna say bronzer, but honestly, even a, it could be a bronzer on me, on somebody with a deeper complexion, it could be a blush. And then we have the shade Mrs. Potts, which is going to be your classic cute pinky shade. Look at the gorgeous rose embossment as well. There is no mirror to this component, but listen, ColourPop, is pretty affordable, so I do not mind this. Let's go ahead and swatch and then try these products on. So I'm going to swatch the shade Mrs. Potts. It's their good regular pressed powder blush formula. You can barely see it, but honestly, it's good that it's not that pigmented because it's a blush. I like when a blush is buildable. And now this bronzer sort of deeper shade, which is going to look really nice on deeper complexions. Honestly, it doesn't look that brown on me either. It looks more of uh, like peachy. I love their pressed powder blushes. I have other blushes from their collabs and collection. I really, really love these. So we're gonna try both shades, obviously. I'm going to keep this shade Chip, which is a little bit deeper, closer to the outer parts, kind of like where I apply bronzer, because this is how I feel it would suit my complexion. So it just feels like I'm applying more of the same bronzer, which is so funny. I could probably use this product as a bronzer, not gonna lie. It is a beautiful shade, a little bit of a reddish undertone. Honestly, do not see much difference from my bronzer, but I wasn't expecting to. I am more excited about the pink blush because I do love me a good 
pink powder blush and I'm just gonna grab a new brush this on this is a bit powdery um so I'm just getting rid of some excess and then applying a little bit on the apples of my cheek yeah you can see the product right away it is not too pigmented and I can build it up and I'm not wearing any cream blush underneath so this is the only blush that I'm applying today. It is quite subtle. This one will only work for lighter complexions. Like I have a little bit of a tanner foundation on me today. And honestly, I need to build it up to be able to see the pigmentation. But I do love the quality on these. They're super cute. They're there to add something to my collection, okay? I'm not buying a ColourPop and Disney collab blush only for the blush it's more about the experience the packaging the collection like i adore my ColourPop blush from their sailor moon collection there was something else some other collection that i really love maybe high school musical or something like i love those blushes i collect them i love ColourPop formula it's decent as you can see quite blurry does not emphasize texture really nice shade really subtle and it feels cute i love these i love these blushes now take a look at this packaging might be one of my favorite boxes from this collection this is the super shock highlighter in the shade special guest this is going to be the bouncy tie-dye highlighter kind of golden highlighter it is in their super shock highlighter component this large component really beautiful packaging and this shade let me tell you it looks gorgeous this reminds me of well first of all there are other large super shock highlighters i think i own a couple of them and also they had a collaboration with Harry Potter. They had these tie-dye really beautiful highlighters with different uh, tones, like a purple one, a green one, I believe. Those are always going to be my favorites. And I am super excited to try this out, not only on my face, but on my body, because why not? This is such a large pan. Like, it's the size of my head. <laughs> Let's watch first. Let's watch because I am intrigued. I am going to just mix all of these. Oh, wow. So this is definitely going to be... Oh, wow. This is kind of a bronzy, pinky duochrome. That is, go that is gorgeous. I could use this as eyeshadow as well. It is a very interesting shade. Huh, very cool. I would think it's lighter looking in the pan, but it was quite bronzy. So I'm going to pick up some of this on the brush. Start applying it right through here. It's kind of glittery i'm not gonna lie and say that this is my favorite highlighter formula it's quite chunky and glittery but it does give a really beautiful pink hue which honestly is just stunning let me grab a big brush and apply it on my body because why not we're just gonna do a little bit of this i think i already have some glitter going on there but there's never too much sparkle <laughs> right <laughs> this is so pretty so let's talk a little bit about lip duos this is another packaging that i just cannot get over how stunning the artwork is and i think that they truly truly captured the style of beauty and the beast i love the colors i love the artwork the roses the background the detail in this so stunning just cannot get over this so we have two lipstick and lip gloss duos great adventure lipstick and lip gloss duo this one and we have break the spell lipstick and lip gloss duo this one they each have a lipstick and lip gloss if i say lipstick and lip gloss duo one more time please punch me in the face this is what the component itself is going to look like i gotta say their boxes like their outer packaging is always way more exciting than the simple plastic packaging but i know that they were trying to save some coins and this is how it usually goes with ColourPop collabs it does not frustrate me i simply just keep the packaging yes I do because it's just so pretty. So let's take a look at this first lip combo. We're going to have a lipstick in the shade Not So Odd. This, you're going to be blown away. Look at this product. Look at the little roses. Gorgeous, stunning, beautiful. I have literally never seen anything more pretty. I don't want to use it because of how pretty this is. And then we have a gloss. Gloss is kind of looking very, very interesting, like very dual chromy. It has pink and gold in it. And this shade is bookworm. Very, very pretty. There isn't like really glitter particles in there. Here's a little swatch. I'm going to swatch the lipstick as well. Very beautiful golden sheen. You cannot really see it on camera, but it's absolutely stunning. And by the way, I'm wearing BFF2 lip liner from them. My old 
favorite lip liner when I just started posting content in 2020 and 2021 this is the only lip liner I was wearing mostly because it's so easy to overline my lips with it <laughs> <laughs> and because it's a perfect shade and I just love how it glides on so anytime I'm wearing my lips are overlined to the gods I am gifting myself quite a bit of quite a bit of lip so uh, let's not talk about it I am going to carefully swatch this lipstick wow very creamy, very beautiful. This is the Lux lipstick formula. I love their glosses, I love their lipstick. They're never my top one choice when it comes to a lip product. I prefer my luxury lipsticks and glosses, but nonetheless, I do enjoy these. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this lipstick. Quite pink, not gonna lie. It is a comfortably soft matte formula. Beautiful, this combo, the brownish lip liner and a pink lipstick looks like the original. Kylie Cosmetics Kylie Lip Combo. If you know, you know. All right, let's apply the gloss on top. And then at the end of the video, I am going to apply the other combo as well and show you how that looks on my lips after we're done with eyes and everything. Oh, this is just so pretty. This gloss is one of the most beautiful makeup products from this collection. What do we think? I'm blind, I need a mirror. Very pinky, very glossy. You can't really see that dual chrome on the lips. It also smells like strawberry like strawberry milkshake. <laughs> That's what it smells and tastes like. It looks beautiful and glossy and it's kind of liquidy. I like that it's not thick and it's not making me feel that gross like thick lip gloss vibe. Honestly, this lip combo is giving. If you have BFF2 lip liner and you get this lip combo, this is what you get. It is absolutely stunning. Wow. So let's take a look at the other combo before we get into the eyes. So this one is Break the Spell and we're gonna get the Last Petal Luxe Lipstick and Kind and Gentle Ultra Glossy Lip. So this one more is more of a brown lip combo. That's why I thought that this is going to be my fave. I mean, it might still be. I have not tried this yet, but this lipstick just looks like a piece of art, like a true, true piece of art. Absolutely gorgeous. I love that they do this. It just makes the experience so elevated. And then the gloss, I wanna say it also has a little bit of a golden sheen, but not so much of a shift as the first one. Let's swatch this baby right there. I don't wanna swatch the other lipstick because I wanna film a short video how I apply it. So yeah, this is super pretty. You're gonna see it nonetheless on my lips at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Anyways, these lip combos are super pretty. Mm. Love this. All right, probably the most exciting part of the collection. Look at this artwork. OMG. Beauty and the Beast eyeshadow palette. So on the little cutout that they sent me, print out, whatever, it says that this color story was inspired by Belle's dress, which I don't know, as a kid growing up in the 90s, like if this wasn't your favorite movie, then what were you doing? <laughs> just kidding, but this was absolutely one of my favorite, favorite, favorite movies ever. And just seeing this on an eyeshadow palette makes me so excited and so happy. This is our beautiful eyeshadow palette inspired by Belle's dress. I think that this color story with yellow, neutrals, blue, and pinks makes so much sense for this specific palette and idea. And it looks super, super pretty. I have not swatched it yet, as you can see. It is in all its glory. I can see some duochrome, some shimmers, beautiful creamy mattes, and I'm super, super pumped. Let's go ahead and swatch it. We have first four shade here. We have the shade Vivid Imagination, ooh, which is kind of a pearly shimmer. We have the shade Bell, which is a gorgeous duochrome, stunning. We have the shade Kind Hearted, which is just like a soft matte. Curious Mind, which is going to be a bronzy shimmer. So far, these are swatching really nicely. This right here is just like a very beautiful neutral color story. Let's go to the second row. The shade names make me so happy. Look at this row. This shade is called Forbidden. Oh my God. This one has pink and blue particles. Oh yes, we're absolutely using this one today. This shade is Ballroom Dance. It's kind of like a yellow matte, which honestly, yellow mattes are not easy to formulate. This one looks gorgeous. Then we have a golden shimmer that is called Inner Beauty. Absolutely stunning. And lastly, we have a blue shimmer that is called Book Lover. So far, obsessed. Look at that navy blue. 
oh my god i was not planning on using this shade but now i really want to we have the shade break the curse that is going to be that ooh, kind of warm rosy matte we have the shade beast which is going to be a warm brown matte we have the shade west wing which is going to be the deepest brown matte in the palette and lastly we have this navy it's all over me it is so pigmented it is going to be the shade dinner invite Wow. So here is the entire palette swatched right in front of you. So it started out with a little bit of eyeshadow primer over on this eye and I'm just going to layer a matte shadow. I'm going to take this matte right here, shade Kind Hearted, on a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to start applying it, kind of blending it in my nose contour and creating a little bit of definition. This does show up on me, but barely because I'm a bronzed goddess today <laughs> i'm gonna take a smaller fluffy brush and i want to use this shade because i find it so gorgeous this is called break the curse and kind of like a rosy more warm matte and i'm going to apply it lower than the first shade and just continue building that depth this is exactly how it looks in the pan kind of rosy more warm gives that hue of pink which i really like also super easy to blend so far. I think we're gonna leave the navy for the next time and I'm gonna pick up the deepest brown which is called West Wing on a very tiny pencil brush and I'm gonna look in the mirror kind of straight in the mirror and start creating my shape here because I want it to be a little bit more graphic so I'm winging it out first like so and it's going to be blended so I'm not too worried about being precise and then I'm going to create a little bit of a crease moment here higher than my natural crease so that you can still see it with my eyes open just creating that line here and then i am going to blend this part inwards so that we have a soft gradient over here what a beautiful shade so far working beautifully it is just a regular good color pop formula i'm gonna take more of that pinky shade and start kind of softening this line here and this gradient i don't want it to be fully blended i want there to be a line there but at the same time i do want there to be a gradient with this warm tone i feel like these shades complement each other really well and i just love that little warmth peeking through i think it's just absolutely gorgeous so for the shimmers, I'm definitely going to use special techniques to apply these shimmers because I know how to work with these formulations. So first I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm going to get a little bit of setting spray on it to make sure that the shimmer picks up nicely. First shimmer, I'm going to go with the shade Belle, which is this gorgeous, gorgeous dual curl, and then tilt my head back to make sure that there's no fallout and start applying it right through here below that line. Oof, that is absolutely gorgeous absolutely wow oh this was a great color choice well it's obviously color pops work but also mine maybe <laughs> that looks divine i'm so excited okay so we're gonna do a little bit of that then i want to pop a little bit of that first super light shimmer in the inner corner maybe under my brow as well just a little pop of kind of like an icy highlight and lastly i want to go on top with this shimmer right here which was that duochrome forbidden it's kind of more glittery it's kind of hard to pick it up but the shade has blue and pink particles and i feel like it's gonna look pretty on top so i'm gonna try and apply a little bit of it on with my finger kind of messed it up but also kind of gorgeous this shade reminds me of last year's pat mcgrath labs holiday collection starstruck splendor that palette has pink to blue dochrome this is literally that shade Oh my god, that's why I love it so much because I absolutely love this shade by Pat, by Pat. Look at that. So I've just applied Laura Mercier Coco Eyeliner Pencil in my waterline. It is my favorite brown, kind of like a reddish chocolatey brown. It looks gorgeous on people with brown eyes. Well, on everyone, but I can only talk about people with brown eyes because I have brown eyes. And I'm going to set it with a bit of that deep brown. And honestly, this brush is too big, the one that I picked up, but I will make it work. Just set a little bit underneath here. For the lower lash line. We love a smoky lower lash line here. I just feel like it makes any look sultry. It's just so gorgeous. And then to make sure that this junction here is well blended. Okay, so I've applied the YSL Beauty Lash Clash Mascara, a classic. And then I tried to use a ginormous lash and it looked 
so ugly so i went back to my tried and true this is by velour beauty this is their cloud nine lash and it looks so gorgeous with this look i feel like it really pulls the look together stunning so i'm gonna finish the other eye and then probably change my lip combo and come back here show you the final result and share my thoughts about this collection hi team so we're back the makeup is all complete as you can see i did try the other lip combo here are the swatches so we have the lipstick in the shade last petal which is that brown gorgeous gorgeous brown lipstick and then we have the gloss in the shade kind and gentle which is more of that brownie taupey gloss and they look a little bit deeper on my lips than i anticipated i thought that this would be my favorite combo out of the two but honestly i i think i like the first one more i don't really know i think brown lip really suits me in general so this one's also looking really nice especially with this beautiful gorgeous eye makeup look let me know which one you prefer I'm still on the fence about it. I like both. I gotta say, this collection made me super excited and I really wanted to buy it all. And if it weren't for me getting this collection in PR, I would buy a couple of products to review and to use and to have in my collection. Definitely the eyeshadow palette and definitely one of the duos, the lip duos. Not sure if I would have bought blushes, but now that I have them, I'm so happy I do because the packaging is so gorgeous and they're so gorgeous. Honestly, I could use a little bit more blush because like I always say, blush is the first thing to disappear from your face throughout the day and I've been filming for quite a while. So I'm actually gonna go with this deeper shade and kind of only re-intensify that. I feel like it would look beautiful with my eyeshadow and lip look. Yeah, I was right. This just looks beautiful. This is just like a beautiful bronzer type of product. I'm gonna continue using it as such. And I am absolutely in love with the eyeshadow palette and the eyeshadow look that I came up with. I already have ideas on how I wanna use that navy blue. I'm excited about this palette. The quality is amazing. It is a good eyeshadow, ColourPop eyeshadow formula, as well as the lip quality, not the lip quality, the lip product quality, the blushes, the highlighter, nothing disappointing me whatsoever i was in love with everything i think that they do an amazing job with their collabs with their color curation with their packaging obviously i had so much fun especially being born in the 90s and growing up in the 90s and watching these movies all over again and having them on vhs and dvd and whatnot this was such a blast i am just excited about having this in my collection and possibly this is a good palette to take on a trip with you because it kind of has all of the neutrals you need but also some pops of color so i will definitely consider that for when i'm traveling but overall i'm super excited about this collection i really liked all of the items there's nothing bad to say about it and i knew that it would be like that unless something happened in the quality would have been bad i knew that i would like this collection i trust ColourPop. i love them i'm going to continue using these products obviously let me know in the comments if you picked anything up if you're still considering because i do think they're not sold out of this collection surprise surprise they actually did a good job unlike the, with the twilight collection let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial this review and i will see you in the next one bye